is Trinity here. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get good grades in school in general. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the first tip that I have for you is to stay organized. I don't think I'd be able to survive if I wasn't organized, literally doing anything. Just not knowing like where this is and where this is, blah, blah, blah. What homework um, I need to do really stresses me out and it's also really bad for your grade if you forget something and turn it in late so I recommend using a planner here's my planner as you can see it's pretty organized um, I have things like months away that towards the end of the year I have stuff prepared already because I like to know when things are due blah 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 so that I don't get in trouble and these grades don't go down. So this is no school, as you can see. Um, I have it in rainbow because I love highlighters. I'm such such an organized little person, but here's some of my notes. And I even put things like Halloween or like like things I want to do on the weekend. I put it on. I put it in here. And I think it's really useful for life in general. I will definitely have one when I'm older or just use my phone, but this definitely can help bring your grades up, not forgetting what you need to do. Also, we have the binder. Um, you can see my classes on here, but basically, if you don't have the right binder, that's fine, but like, if you don't have all the stuff your school requires of you, at least like a couple things, then how do you really expect to go through the year getting A's? Basically, all I say you really need is either folders or, um, I forgot what these are called. So just stick to that and you should be good. The next thing I have for you is to be prepared. So I'm going to be a freshman next year. I cannot believe that. And I have been looking for colleges already because... If you finally start looking at the criteria to get into a college after high school, then you're probably not going to have enough of this stuff. Like, I was thinking about not taking Spanish, but most colleges require Spanish or BAN because those are technically languages. And, yeah, if I had not taken that, I wouldn't have been able to get into most colleges. So... That's just one example of just staying prepared if you're going into college already. Maybe like you could be thinking about how much money you need to, you know, live in your dorm room or whatever. Buying all those ramen noodles, not doing that <laughs> at the last minute because that's what's going to get your grades down. Okay. This also, having a pencil would go in this category if you don't have a pencil that could lead to oh not having your book not having your math book not having your homework and then boom not having your study guide not having your little cheat thing or whatever and then you're gonna fail the test and you weren't prepared so that's why you failed <laughs> The next one is pretty obvious, it's to have your priorities in order. So if you're a party person or whatever, <laughs> then you can't be doing that every day. If you have to study for a test that's next Friday and say it's like Saturday, you can go and party on the weekend. If you have a study hall, don't spend that talking to people and sending letters and being on your phone. Spin that for what it's actually for. You need to have a good balance of your social life and school without leaning too much towards another and like totally knocking your priorities off. So the next one is going to be extra credit or just like any little extra thing you can do. This brought my grade from a B to an A in math and that really shows how it can help you if you have like a D to a C boom that really helps you pass math so in my math class we just have like these lame little connect the dots you have to do math still like 
it's on an X and Y chart or whatever. And that's things we learned a long time ago. So no matter what, I always take the extra credit unless I have too much going on. Because if you fail the test or something and there's extra credit, then you don't know what your test score is until after the test. So it really helps your grade. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it, guys. You can go and count in the comments or something. But all of this stuff really will help. One, the next one I have for you will be being independent. Now, a teacher was talking about this the other day. One of our high school um, counselors came in and he was saying how you don't need to be taking classes your friends want just because of them. If your whole future is going to be based on like some of these, these classes you take, if you really like fashion, you can be in like a fashion thing. Or if you like cooking, you could go to a cooking class. But if your your friend is trying to make you go to some honor science class and you don't like science, then don't do that because you're setting yourself up to fail and you're following them just so that you can have a class and talk with them like not a good idea. This one is pretty simple, just studying well. Now, a lot of people I'm sure are probably studying incorrectly. What one way that I've studied incorrectly is just like they give you a study guide and you can't do anything with it. You just read it over. Oh, I'm ready for the test. But no, you're not. What? <laughs> Sorry. But what I use are like note cards. And there's also this app called Quizlet. They have little note cards. Some people already make them so you don't have to make your own. But if it's if they don't have it, you will have to make it. Um, basically, just trying to make it easier for yourself. Um, if you like learn visually or you learn by writing stuff down, that really depends on how you study. I would say I'm both for sure. I like just like speaking out loud, like note cards. But um, another way you can do is you can get one of those clear pieces of... Um, I don't know what it's called like those clear plastic sheets things like and you could put your paper in there and if it's like I don't know like parts of a skeleton or something you can just fill out the little blanks on the study guide or say hey can I have an extra one so I can study at home I did that before and got like a hundred percent because it's so much easier than just looking at it and trying to take a mental screenshot of it I don't know just once you figure out how you learn that's how you learn how to study correctly so this one is to ask for help I've had to do this a lot in math I really have struggled with math but my grade is still good so it's like if you ask for help coming in in the mornings um, I don't know, waiting after everyone leaves, like saying like, I need help with this, can I have a pass, coming at lunch. Going out of your way to learn is really what's going to make the teachers understand more and really want to help you. And that means you're really trying. Do that because sometimes you can't understand things when you get home. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to do the homework. Your parents haven't done this since like 10, 20 years ago. So go and ask a teacher for help, write an email, do what you need to do to get your grade up. The final one I have for you might sound a little dumb at first, but try your hardest. Now in gym, we have a pacer test, um, worst thing I've ever done, but you basically have to run back and forth so many times. If you're trying your hardest, the teacher knows that you're trying your hardest, and that's the best you can do. If you're, like, in math class or something, and you did bad on the test, doing all of these things, you you tried all the things you could. You did the extra credit. You studied correctly. You asked for help. That means you're trying your hardest, and if you need to talk to your teacher directly about that or something then that's when you know you might need some even more help than you thought. 
but most of the time your teacher will understand so as long as you do all those things that means you're trying your hardest and that's gonna get you your grade so thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment down below and subscribe for more videos like this and without further ado and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye.